Hello to all. Today we are going to study about a micro body, and that micro body is called as the glyoxisomes. First of all, you must know that who discovered them. So Beavers was the scientist who discovered them from the extract of the endosperm of germinating castor beans. Within a couple of minutes, you will see that they are specially found in the fatty acid seeds. Okay. and a castor seed is also a fatty acid seed and that's why beavers discovered them from it okay glyoxisomes have been originated from the endoplasmic reticulum and they are also found in the yeast and the neurospora cells okay they are not only found in the castor beans they are also found in the yeast and the neurospora cells okay now they are small spherical vesicles okay they are small structures which are spherical right in structure and they are bounded by single membrane they are bounded by single membrane not only the glyoxisomes all the micro bodies say for the peroxisomes spherosomes glyoxisomes all are bounded by the single membrane and one thing to be noted here is that that this glyoxisomes are found particularly in the plants they are not found in the case of the animals okay now in them a cycle occur and that cycle is called as the glyoxylate cycle okay in glyoxisomes glyoxylate cycle occur now the question arises that uh, for the glyoxylate cycle what are the necessary things so for the glyoxylate cycle to be continued the enzymes are required okay so the glyoxisomes contain many enzymes which are important for the glyoxylate cycle say for the important enzymes are malate synthetase okay malate synthetase glycolate oxidase catalase cit trate synthetase and malate dehydrogenase these are the important enzymes found in the glyoxisomes which are important for the glyoxylate cycle to be continued in glyoxisomes now the question arises that what is glyoxylate cycle so glyoxylate cycle is a cycle by which the fats are converted to carbohydrates okay what i am saying by glyoxylate cycle the fats are converted to carbohydrates and this conversion of the fat into the carbohydrate by glyoxylate cycle is called as the gluconeogenesis okay conversion of fat into carbohydrate is called as gluconeogenesis okay so the very important feature of the glyoxisomes is that that in them gluconeogenesis occur okay not only this you must also know that animals cannot execute this conversion this conversion of the fat into the carbohydrate can only occur in the plant cells okay animals cannot execute this conversion means they cannot execute the conversion of the fat into the carbohydrate why because in them they are not having the glyoxylate enzymes and when the glyoxylate enzymes will be absent so the glyoxylate cycle will not occur and when the glyoxylate cycle will not occur then gluconeogenesis will also not occur that is the fats will not be converted into the carbohydrate so we can say that this cycle only occur in the plant cells it never occur in the animal cells okay and at the last you must also know that glyoxisomes are found in so of course they are found in the plant cells but especially they are found in the fatty seeds especially they are found in the fatty seeds why because the fatty seeds are full of fats and in them the gluconeogenesis will occur and the fats will be converted into the carbohydrates so here i have written some examples of fatty acid seeds the best example of the fatty seeds are the castor seeds and the groundnut seeds 
both the examples are very good example because they contain too much of the fatty acids okay they are having too much of the fats castor we know very well it is having too much of the fat so castor seeds groundnut seeds in them especially the glyoxysomes are found okay so dear students this was all about a micro body known as the glyoxysomes keep watching my videos will be coming with few more new videos thanks a lot